okay we have other additional options as we speak about a shrink at lower density we have an influence this is still how strong this will affect so 70 percent and you notice another areas we same have it radius what is the radius on influence and fallout it's a smoothness so right now it's hard edge if we increase fallout and effect so you'll notice it will affect very strong on the edges but it will affect decreasing as it is going away so this is way we can manipulate and make it more natural okay, let's go next so we have a color and right now it's all color that we applied however we can change and modify this color let's first overall color so we can say i want uh, kind of aquish blue okay it will affect overlay some of the color if we applied the next what i want to do it's like set color on a low density so let's go set this to the maybe bright red okay same we have it with influence so we can pop up quite a bit influence radius a little bit on fallout so we'll go populate and you notice right here we have a low density higher than so we're kind of affecting this with overall color and you can see where the low density applied um, sometimes when you want to create a properly ecosystem you want to maybe preview some areas and colorization will help you visually see it also we're using the um, cylinders which is much lighter on the polygon count all what you need to do after is just add a plant a removed cylinder and you will have it now distribution same as you did it with the cylinders only in preview so we can also apply variable colors so let's go ahead preload it for example a rainbow view and we're going to change to some other function driving okay when we populate you notice right here how we change now now we have this um, function driving rainbow color affecting so you can do same things with the variable colors you can change maybe to the fall color okay we can go inside the function editor okay let's go to reset okay let me preload it again okay so right here we have our color and currently it's constant so we can go to the altitude and connect from altitude to our color distribution so yellow and green and this altitude on this object okay in this case you can see how we change colors okay, let me disable right here okay let's go again preload it populate okay and you can see right here how we change so based on the altitude is switching and if we have a mountain we can very easily reverse this and make a yellow on top of mountain and switch get a greener as going down from mountain altitude so with variable colors we can modify this we can also see how much influence of the variable colors will affect our scenery so we can have it almost no influence versus to the big influence Okay, next let's look on the presence and this is kind of important because this is the term how ecosystem will populate it okay so let's go ahead and what i want to do is actually to remove this one we don't need cube as well right now let's go and create a terrain okay i'm going to shrink this terrain so we can preview bring closer we'll take main camera move it slightly above okay we'll go open terrain editor we'll add new layer ecosystem okay as an ecosystem we'll go to add cylinder so we can test let's do scaling and we'll click populate so it should be a lot of instance populating right here okay you can see it's all over Except this is kind of on the top and because the presence by set is altitude higher so if I go set all the way from minus 1 to 1 and we'll want the density a little bit down so we'll populate it 
and you can see now it's populating through all our terrain okay let's go next and we can modify so we can say hey I want don't go too low I want to populate around this area and fuzziness on the bottom okay now I can click populate and you'll notice one thing okay it's maybe does it's right here around so this around right area the one problem with this when we populate and test this way hard to see you remember I told you about the highlighters so let's say if I enable highlight yeah we'll go with purple brighter so you notice right here in preview we have it now highlight ways will be populated so now I can modify adjust all properties and see how they work for example if I want to look on a slope constraint so it says I want to do just on a flood we'll bring closer okay. so I can look on those right here you can see where is that kind of going to leave it flutter without render all the time so let's create slope constraint so leave it flat we'll add steep and we don't need it orientation but if I have it snow I want to do I can work with the snow next what I need to do just turn it off populate it and now I know my ecosystem will populate just in these areas like you can see where spits fight so I can go ahead replace with the trees and populate it again this is just with distribution with the highlighters so we can see what we're putting and the presence is kind of very important because used a lot of time is overall we have it, our altitude constraint which is also range of altitude by object material absolute or relative to the sea if you're using global materials that apply to multiple terrains you maybe want to say relative to the sea okay next we have a slope constraint so what we modified so for example this is slope zero it's a flood and we says from flood I want just slightly down we have it fuzziness it's how much between steep and flood how much it will be uh, blending in okay and next we have also orientation and orientation of the object so in some cases you say if the wind very high from one side I want more population on the side with a less wind based on another one so you can work with the uh, constraint orientations as well so right here let's do a couple things so we'll go variable colors I'm going to actually we'll modify that in a second I want to go to preview we'll add modify map color so I want this one going all the way here it will take green one okay let's go select this one a little bit yellowish green okay we'll go to edit function and the same what we did before instead constant we'll just go to the altitude and select this to the altitude okay so we have a color density set let's go scaling shrink at low density influence radius fallout okay we want to lean slightly and adjusting so overall you can see I'm kind of working with this plan so we just did it so and let's enable climbing slightly okay we'll go populate and you can see in our preview how fast with the ecosystem I can create it prototype for the plants going over mountains with a coloring and distribution so of course we can take this one put it all the way down so it will distribute it all the way on the back but overall right here this is ecosystem it's very important layers you can use a lot when you start working with the Vue and I suggest for you to get more familiar with this um, one thing before we all the way done I want to show you a distribution based on 
relations to other objects. So let's go right here. We'll go to delete this terrain. We don't need any more. We'll go create a simple cube. Okay, let's stretch a little bit. Okay, bring closer to the camera. And we'll take also our camera and bring to the cube or um, platform in this case, our test one. So let's say I'm going to add one, actually wrong one. So let me go add one element and I'm going to add ecosystem. Okay. I'm going to add red all to this. We'll go to decrease density and scaling maybe. Okay, maybe density even less. So like 1%. Okay, you notice how we're populating. So what's happening if I create second layer? So for example, I create a new layer and I create another ecosystem layer. And in this ecosystem layer, I want to set green ball. So I populate, but I want this ecosystem if it's first, for example, was uh, trees. I want the grass going around the trees, how I can do this. So for this reason, we have this distribution, how it's uh, work and interact with the layer. Notice on layer before we don't have it enabled. It needs to be layer above so it can work with another. Let's do this way. We'll take same, leave it down on the density. We take scaling lower and I want to be sure the scaling is smaller than layer below this. Okay but we're going now inside this distribution and I want affinity right here so it's an attraction add all the way so let's populate now so when we're populating you notice right here we have the green we have the red and we have the green just around them okay, let's me, let me increase scaling so right here see how they are tracked so in this case if a red was tree green or bushes or something it can be closer or a rocks so and this is related with affinity with the layer below so let's go right here maybe even more so you can see how they kind of linking together so if i going opposite if i go says hey i actually want set this to zero and this is a bunch of rocks that i don't want to avoid but i don't want them get closer for example so i can go all the way populate and now you can see the green is populating avoiding my red ones so you can set for example tall tree which is have a large lot of shadows and some plants does not like live in shadows so you can populate this way to avoid some of this effect the other also don't just think about plants also what you can do with this it's using volumetric materials which will look or semi-transparent. So if I create the river and on the river I want to create some turbulence or a little bit more bubbles in the water, I can create the rocks will be our red and uh, some effect of the water meta I can create with another echo layer and attract them together. So I will create this turbulence or kind of white stripe by the rocks in the water so you can have this multiple ways you can look on this but overall this is also what i want to point a distribution one how it's interact between different layers ecosystem layers